All right. Just getting into it. No practice. I got like one or two laps because trying to get this done over lunch. And uh, yeah, Atlanta, not one of those tracks that you can just jump into and feel good. You gotta remember how little grip it has. Also, the wall textures are screwed up on in-car cam. Uh, they're all like faded for some reason. Especially on the front stretch, you can see it with them in the sun. No idea if we need to go topside to be quick in queue. We just want to go ahead and go up there. Because it's more than likely I will get loose down low off the corner and kill the time, so just take the easy route and hope I can qualify halfway decent. Little bit of pace there, quarter of a second up. Is that going to be enough to take us to the front? Not really. Only P3. <sighs> That's not good. Yeah, look at this. I, I've never seen this before. It's really, really strange. But if you get to the front stretch, and it's not on TV cams. It's only the cockpit cam. And I don't have exposure or anything changed for it. See that Atlanta is faded. Cup Series logo, you can really tell, is faded. Geico is faded. But, and then the front stretch wall is just a absolute mess of brightness and horribleness. Oh, didn't even notice Daniel was in here, but then we get into uh, this camera and Cup Series is fine, Geico is fine, and I have no idea what's going on. So, um, something's up. Well, the Atlanta is broken. Wait, wonder if, is it from a certain angle? There we go, that's why. Uh, there is something broken on these, cause, yeah. Looking at it behind, they're fine. Looking at it, or, yeah, I don't know which way you want to define behind or not, but. Um. Yeah, all right, well, I solved the issue, or at least know how to report it, but that's weird. There's definitely something funky going on with that. We are now down to fourth, but at least it's the people closest to us in I rating that have beat us. We are ready to race. Uh, we got a few Class Ds in here. We got a few Class Bs and Cs, but mostly As. And uh, do we know anyone else in this? Probably not. It's gonna be a lot of people that we don't normally get to race against. One left to green. Line up on the outside. Pit road is closed. The estimated SOF is. 2,452. Keep it clean. The DNF today would hurt our points a lot. Alright. Well. Save the tires. Don't get into stupid battles. Still waiting on two cars to grid. Still wish race labs would fix the colors of uh, the licenses because that is orange on a Class C, and uh, completely confuses everything, but number five is a Class C, not a Class D. Waiting on the final cast grid. And we got an all-white car, this paint's not loading, so that's awesome. I wonder if I can, I don't even think I can tell what it is that would be behind the 10. Everyone's gridded. 
There's no tie changes allowed during this race. Treat him right and good luck. The 11. Let's see if we can fix his car. Fix it? Or did I accidentally change the wrong person? I think his car is just broken. All right, well, we got 35 laps. I watched Gavin's race this morning. And tire wear. Tires are chewing up. Track time's 113. So it looked like, though, because this is a 35 and not a 40, it looked like you can still go pretty hard and not worry about the wear too much. Some people will fall off. Uh, it's just matter of how badly you treat the tires and how much you overdrive through the transition of going uh, from fresh to worn and through that heat. So we're gonna just try to do our best. Hopefully a top five. But as the two car, we definitely need a top three. Get ready, going green. Luckily, the top end of this is fairly high for what I thought was going to be a be low strength of field. Green, green, green. Big gap behind us. Allows us to just take it easy here, lift off a bit, and not try to power through. Be very kind to these tires on the initial few laps. I just gotta figure out what we got for grip down low. side and let him burn him up. He's going to have to go around the high side of the four Stay as low. well. Outside, clear. He's not even able to get those runs going, so I'm trying to let him by. Point three, seven, eight. Car outside. Still there. Clear up top. Outside. Big wobble there. Probably scared him. We don't need wobbles like that. Alright. of time. Maybe the guy hit him. I don't know. I think it's time to just get away from these guys. Do not hit me. Thank you. Someone actually lifted off instead of just trying to bump draft. Wasn't going to be that forceful until he started blocking the crossover on the front stretch. They've wrecked behind us. I can chill out. Just did not like having all of those people right up my ass. Too easy to get ran over if I make a mistake. 
Alright, back to managing. That was not managing. Everyone is pushing really hard. So I'm hopeful that I'm not overdriving the tires. We will just let them all go blast on by and hope that it comes back to us. That loose off the corner down low is killing me though. place right now. I feel like we can get third, but it's going to depend on how easy it is to make all these passes back, how much tire we have left, if we have any tire left. of us. Looks like we're going to give each other room, but off of two is where the real danger is. You almost got him. Car's feeling pretty balanced, so that's good. Nine's just eating up his tires. Now he's 
Made a mistake in the center of the corner. We just got to get around him. He's already, he's already toasted him. Still not time to go yet. We're not. We're not looking at top two. They're long gone. There's nothing we can do about that. Nearly just got ran over because we're actually slowing down for the corner. Lap traffic ahead. Alright, so let's go last lap. That guy's running the high side and has been a lot and just hit the wall. So really I think our only fight is going to be the 11. And if he gets into a battle with this guy, they may both burn their stuff off. I'm trying to decide if I want to wait till 15 to go or 10 to go before I drop the hammer and downshift into third to get more RPMs, like old Cole Trickle. Yeah, I don't think we got anything for the 11. I thought we did for a second, but he is checking out. Guess we're still a little loose there on throttle. Four cars making his run back to the front after saving. through the center. I think we've went too early. I'm just feeling how it's reacting right now. It doesn't feel like it's going to last another 11 laps. Daniel's up there racing for the lead. He might get beat by this four car. But I don't think we can push it. We've 
just taking too much out of it or something or me doing my big early lifts has uh, really hurt our right front but the minute I try to push it just no turn so I gotta hope that the 4 and the 11 just somehow overdrive in this portion of it Looks like the leaders are coming back to us, but... Not quick enough. Got one wrecking behind us. off the corner. Car and way too tight into the corner. There, Don't know what line. the hell happened there. We're sucking. Unfortunate. Did not manage this one well at all. so much extra grip. Our only hope is he catches the 11 and the 11 does something stupid. But he's not even really catching the 11. The 11's catching the top two. And then the top two have this lap car that just needs to go the hell away need to be in Daniel's mirror or in between second and third but I am disappointed in my drive here we are low we have no tire and uh, just no speed Looks like Daniel's safe if this lap car stays there. It's going to screw up the 11 if the 11's got enough speed to even catch him. But pushing it right now is just asking to jam it into the wall so no need to everyone behind us has died off worse but very unfortunate top five but it looks like i mean we're getting beat by these two that are catching the top two so can't feel too bad about it but did not save the right front. It'll be interesting to see what these tires are compared to Gavin's. Two more, let's go.
car on the wall. Lap car has finally decided to get out of the way too late. Lap car in the wall what comes down in front of Daniel. Right. Now he's wrecking, hitting the wall some more. And we have no reason to get anywhere close to the 17. Four car nearly gets into the 11, but we weren't going to catch them even if they made contact. And there we go. Kind of a disappointing P5. All right, but, it's ticket flag. Um, I mean, everyone that beat us was over 2,000, so I guess that's okay. Just, uh, I don't know. Do not feel good about that one. 60-73, so we did not use our tires up at all. But it was just dying there at the end because of heat. We were burning through them, so I just went way too early, and I probably just shouldn't have went. I think that's been my problem lately, is I've been trying to go and pushing it harder, and just ruining my tires on heat. What was it? 60, 73? So, uh, yeah, just could not keep the heat out of it. And I think that is the main problem. And not getting on the right rear enough. When he gets loose, 17 barely gets around. When he keeps it up in the wall. It's good to see someone actually turning right. The five car is... Wow. So the five car is losing it for 100 miles. 14 sees this. 14 sees this. Oh, I'm going to just gas it up and drive straight into the back of the car, even though there's a whole car width to the right. wall 16 looking at his phone or something I don't know 7 pushes up and that is the weird wreck where I was like how did they wreck there and looks like oh I was going to say almost everyone got by let's uh, see what the 19 was looking at Yeah, nothing he could do there. Seven came up the track. And that ends his race. Be a wall and a loose. Nine goes and grabs the wall. Seventeen trying to intentionally wreck the twenty. Okay. Six, losing it and into the wall. Eighteen. Trying to go to the top from the middle and you just, you can't do that. Car ain't gonna turn. You gotta start on the top and turn down to hold that top line is one of my struggles on the high side because I always enter too low. And the 17 gets the wall one more time. That was to the white flag. 16 in the wall. And that's it. So, not terrible. Let's take a look at the results. 16i rating, 8 safety rating, but it's nothing.
had nothing there. So, good run to Daniel. He holds on to second. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.